be some feedback, video feedback, um, and I'm glad you got it in. This will be for 6.2, which is the milestone, essentially the, the final uh, of your website. You made a lot of progress, too, and I'm glad you got this in. Uh, Camille, I just want to make sure that this is what you submitted <clears throat> it was earlier today, it looks like. Um, and I have a screenshot of uh, browser uh, testing. Uh, it's just a single browser. What is it? What is it in? It's hard to tell. Um, you know, I'll accept that as evidence that you have. But have you uh, validated your code? Just curious. And then there's also in this a PDF with the uh, a link to your website. Now, Camila, this you know it looks great. Um, and so before I get lost in details, <clears throat> I just wanted to commend you for coming this far. Um, really within a week here, because I don't remember it looking this complete a week ago. Uh, lots to like about it, too. I like the simple um, rollover effect on the navigation bar. I like the uh, the colors of it. It doesn't really suggest Chinese until you um, see the logo. I like that. It's discreet. It's sort of left-handed. You have um, started to add content to your child pages. It might be nice somehow in your navigation to gray out or remain grayed out, and this will be a rollover state, uh, the name of the page that, that you're on. For example, when I release my cursor from menu, uh, it goes back to being gray. So I really have no idea where I'm at. It'd be nice if that stayed on in that state, just to indicate where you were. Small thing, I see you begun to format a um, menu using uh, HTML and CSS type. Really nice. Uh, so those <coughs> child pages are beginning to be uh, filled out. These uh, pretty much look like the home page. Um, I'm sure that you know maybe maybe that's one objective. You could try to flesh out your child pages a little more. And if you have to drop a link or two, uh, that's fine. You know the site only has to be you know three, four, maybe five links. The slideshow is really effective, uh, Camila, and engaging. I think I characterize this as um, well. It's kind of it's it's kind of like Chinese industrial. <laughs> I like the uh, use of the sans serif, um, but it would be nicer, I think, if you use the corporate typefaces. That would be an objective, and uh, that would also be a, sort of a reality. Um, you know, we can't. Oftentimes we inherit uh, the corporate styles, and uh, one of them oftentimes is a particular typeface. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it's funny what you can hide in meta comments, isn't it? So I, I was a little per perplexed by this. I know it's close to Halloween. Um, I was amused by it. <laughs> and but anyway, yeah, your copious uh, meta tags uh, or comments uh, very entertaining and. It, makes me uh, able to smile as I read through your code. Imagine that. Uh, I see that you've used the uh, the div tags to place things. You might consider moving that to the um, style guide, the external style guide, which is right here. That's very comprehensive, by the way. I'm just scrolling through it. Uh, here, I think, somewhere in here is where you would change the the hover state on your navigation. Um, so, you know, it would, I don't know, it would be one of these, I think, if you wanted to have the navigation remain, uh, darkened out while you were on that particular page. Okay, so here you've got, um, div tag using to center the slideshow. That's a good thing, good, that raises a point. Here you have the content centered. Well, the navigation is inherently sort of flush left. About us, however, is staggered off to the right. Is that intentional? I like the asymmetry of it. Um, it is, without being, you know, emphatically centered, uh, it had, it's, well, I don't know. I, just, I like the arrangement. And oftentimes it's hard to reconcile something centered against something that's flush left, right, right. <clears throat> Watch your typographic details, uh, maybe add space between, um, or you know, either padding, just so that the lines don't come so close to the edge of the browser, just to, just to give you an indication uh, how close they come. 
I'll move this in a little bit. See what I mean? So uh, also your footer is is a big footer. Um, think of ways maybe to make this much smaller. There's no reason for this site map to be um, as large as it is. Consider putting social media I, uh, uh, dummy links in your footer as well. Then when I enlarge it, um, <clears throat> some of your type size relationships become apparent. You know, there's not really enough contrast between the navigation, uh, uh, the head one, or the text. Uh, so think about contrast of scale uh, when you design your pages and it comes to text. And try to avoid really long lines. Um, if you can limit it to no more than 50 characters per line, that will make it uh, easier to read. And then lastly, Camila, and then I'm going to leave off here uh, because it's getting late, <clears throat> but um, consider using a, a, a transparent file format for the logo so that it can sit equally well on top of a photograph as it does on a black background or any color background. Good going. Um, I bid you strength in the coming days and um, I look forward to seeing you finish the term.